Hey, what's up everyone? Richard here, and welcome to the third episode in my Payday 2, Stats in Depth. Today we take aim at our third weapon-related stat, Accuracy. We will discuss both a practical and technical understanding of accuracy, as well as how it applies to different classes of weapons, such as shotguns, sniper rifles, and everyone else. Accuracy, as it relates to firearms, is the ability of a weapon to effectively place shots in the direction the barrel is pointing. Weapons with a higher accuracy rating in-game will more reliably hit the targets they are aiming for. However, like in real life, even the most accurate weapons will not have perfect accuracy. So, it's important to understand how accuracy is actually applied in Payday 2. The formula to calculate the base spread of a weapon is rather simple. For this, you only include the weapon's base accuracy and any changes made from weapon modifications. Skills will come into play later in this calculation. So let's say we have a car 4 with a base accuracy of 12 and we attach a competitor's compensator. This will increase accuracy by 2, bringing its total accuracy to 14. The formula for finding base spread is 20 minus weapon accuracy, including mods, then divide the difference by 10. So for our case, 20 minus 14 will equal 6. Then 6 is divided by 10, which will give us a base spread of 0.6. Base spread is a measurement of degrees, so when the car 4 is fired, a cone is projected in front of the weapon, and the vertex angle of the cone is 0.6 degrees. Shots fired from the car 4 will travel anywhere inside this cone. And now let's say, instead of equipping the competitor's compensator, we equip the funnel of fun, reducing our base accuracy to 8. So, 20 minus 8 is 12, and 12 divided by 10 equals 1.2, meaning the cone of fire for this new weapon is 1.2 degrees. While 0.6 degrees and even 1.2 degrees may seem like a small deviation in accuracy, as distance goes on, the effects become much more noticeable. To somewhat illustrate these effects, I have playing in the background, me using different variants of the CAR-4 rifle. Each one will have a different accuracy value, starting at 0 and going to 4, 8, 12, 14, 16, and finally, the maximum base accuracy of 18. As you can notice, with each step up, the difference in accuracy is pretty dramatic, even at close range. You can see up to about 14 accuracy, weapons tend to be very ineffective, even at mid-ranges. Past 14 accuracy, the cone of fire becomes manageable while aiming down sights. However, calculating base spread is only half of the math. There are also additional multipliers to add on from skills and stance. Skill multipliers are pretty self-explanatory. They modify base spread multipliers, and their effect depends on the value assigned to them. Sharpshooter, for instance, increases single shot accuracy by 20%. Stance is a little more complicated, as different weapons will have different multipliers for each stance. However, most will fall under the car 4's stance multipliers. When aiming and stationary, spread is multiplied by 1x, so there is no change. When aiming and moving, the spread is doubled, and in any other situation, the spread is increased by 3.5x. So let's return to our car 4 with the competitor's compensator. We've determined that our base spread will be 0.6. Let's also assume that in-game we have switched the weapon to single shot by tapping the V key. We will finally assume that you also have the sharpshooter skill which will improve single shot accuracy by 20%. So we would then take the effect of sharpshooter, which is 20% increase in accuracy, or a 0.2 multiplier, subtract that from one, which would yield a final number of 0.8. Finally, we would multiply 0.6 by 0.8 to get a final spread of 0.48 degrees when aiming and not moving. While this calculation was fairly simple, other weapons, such as pistols, will have many other multipliers in play, so it's important to total all the multipliers before calculating the final product. Also, some weapons will have their accuracy improved from crouching, such as the LMGs, and others will lose accuracy from crouching, such as the Eagle and Falcon rifles. 
If you are curious on all the multipliers in game, there will be a link in the video description for Frankelstoner's long guide that will discuss all these values in detail. As you may have noticed, sniper rifles actually will cheat the accuracy system in some ways. They will have additional multipliers attached to them. Both the Thanatos and the R93 have a 0.5 multiplier, and the Rattlesnake and Mosin Nagant will have a 0.6 multiplier, effectively increasing accuracy by 50% and 40% respectively. This is factored into the default accuracy of these weapons, so this is why you can achieve higher than 18 accuracy in the inventory screen. Shotguns, unlike most other weapons, can benefit from low accuracy, especially shotguns like the Mascani, Locomotive, Judge, and Jocelyn. The increase in spread allows the shotguns to strike several targets, and since only one pellet is required to deal full damage, this can make shotguns much more effective at mid-ranges. Do keep in mind this only works if you are using pellet-based ammunition, such as triple-op buckshot or flechettes. Overall though, for most weapons, 14 accuracy and above is a good spot to be at. Rifles you will generally want to aim for 18, however 16 is more than feasible, especially if you have the sharpshooter skill and the ability to use the weapon on single fire mode. Shotguns, as long as you are using pellet ammo, should try to lower their accuracy as much as possible to increase effective pellet spread. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And also, feel free to tell me the most interesting thing you learned in this video. Thank you very much for watching. My name, as always, is Richard, and until next time, farewell.